My name is Lana Averill, and I am one of the directors of operations here at Real Life Christian Assistance, and I'm also the guest services pastor at the church. Real Life Christian Assistance is here to help people who are in need. Uh, we help with groceries, and we also help with uh, clothing. I love serving because it involves people, and I love people. I love it when it's peopley out, and it's peopley here. Um, I love serving with the volunteers. It's just amazing to see um, the faithfulness of the people who come here week after week to continue to give groceries um, to the people in our community, and they do it with such joy. Um, you can't help but just get more joy from that. Talking to the people who are receiving the food, they are so grateful and they're so thankful that we are here. We just kind of uh, would find needs all over the place. If, if you look, there's a need everywhere. Velma came around last year in May and uh, started serving. And I realized she just kept coming and kept coming. So we started having a conversation. And it's amazing the, the details that she can remember about people and needs. Uh, she serves a lot um, in food and in the clothing. And she, she just remembers what people needs and she comes up with it. Look, I found this for so-and-so. I got connected with Real Life Christian Assistance because I used to go to the Shell Station on 35 and 3009. And a couple of the girls that worked there, were they couldn't afford groceries at the time of COVID or hair products. So I went home and I looked on the internet and I found this place. I've even texted Lana a couple times to say, this is, uh, this is for me, I love it. Lana took me over to the school to, to look around and my grandson was going to public school and I fell in love with this place. I would rather send my grandson here than public school because on here he's being fulfilled. He has no problems every day. It's amazing, it's excellent, and he's excelling. I love it, and he's being baptized in January, which that's impacted a lot. <laughs> and it's for anybody. I mean, everybody's welcome. I think sometimes we just have to stop and actually look for needs because they're there. Uh, it's easy to get caught up in our own lives and just see me, but when we stop and allow the Lord to show us things, we can see needs and the Lord equips us to meet them.